very famous quote for success. Success is living life on your own terms, living with people you want to live with, working with people you want to work with, doing the work you want to do, earning enough money to cover your expense, serving as many people as you can. Everything else is a compromise. But what about the other side of success? Failure? Why people fail? A lack of persistence is a great hindrance to success. Even incredibly talented and gifted people fail repeatedly because they rely too much on their talents. They are not willing to persist until they have completely mastered what they are doing. Instead, they quit when the process gets tough. Success always starts with failure. If you closely monitor some of the most successful individuals, you will realize that they all failed often. Some of these people were widely considered to be a big failure in life, but they managed to turn things around as if they were alchemists. They transformed failure into success. How did they do that? They discovered the reason for their failure learned important lessons from it and change how they think about failure. We have to discover a great power of failure. We all fail. This cannot be prevented, but failure always gives us the choice to use these experiences, often painful, to grow stronger in future. Should we worry about failure? No, we should not. So stop worrying. Failure is not final. Success is not final. It is courage to continue that counts. None of our failures is final. We ourselves allow failure to discourage us. After a certain point, we keep telling ourselves, I failed at life. Therefore, I am good for nothing. The more often we repeat it, the more we believe it. And once we believe it, the world around us will reflect same belief for us. When we are challenged with failure, we primarily see all the negative aspects that come with it. We overlook the benefits of failing. Yes, it is strange but true. Each failure provides us chance to grow. It offers a chance to return wiser, stronger and smarter than we before. But we need to actively make use of this opportunity. If we don't, then failure will destroy us. Success is not result of getting things right in your first try. Success is the product of mental strength to keep fixing what we are doing wrong until we get it right. Failure teaches us two important lessons. A that we are doing something completely wrong. B. That we can always overcome failure. Failure mainly teaches us that we must get back up and continue the pursuit of our dreams. If we don't learn these lessons, we will remain lying on the ground, not knowing what happened and what to do. Few reasons why people fail in life and what we can do to change it. A. Lack of self-discipline If we lack self-discipline, we are more likely to give up too quickly when problems arise. Similarly, a lack of discipline makes us more likely to give in to more short-term temptations that lead us nowhere. If we are undisciplined, we see no reason in making sacrifices today in order to prosper tomorrow. How to overcome a lack of self-discipline? We need to develop self-discipline and this is a big problem. Most of us falsely assume that some of us are born with it and others are not. It is a fatal belief. In actuality, laziness and lack of inner strength are two major factors that prevent many from developing self-discipline. But how could we ever develop discipline? If we continue to avoid doing difficult things, 
which require us to be persistent, strong-willed and determined. We can develop more self-discipline, for instance, by increasing our stress tolerance levels, meditating, removing distractions, breaking bad habits, postponing unbeneficial behaviors, making plans and rewarding ourselves for accomplishing our goals, tolerating a higher level of emotional discomfort, exercising regularly. B. Lack of persistence. One of the most crucial reasons people feel is that they give up too soon. If you think that lack of persistence is instigating your failure, find the way to stop giving up too quickly. For some people, it means never trying again. But there are many who bounce back and keep trying. Their determination often leads to success. So don't get disheartened after failing once or twice. Keep trying and you are more likely to get what you want. Persistence is all about finding new tactics and making adjustments. We have to be persistent when confronted with difficulties and problems. Continue fighting for the accomplishment of your dreams, even if it's uncomfortable. And just because you are stuck in a dead end, it does not mean that there are no other ways to reach your goals. See, unwillingness to swim against the current. It is always easy to swim with the current. It will lead you where everybody else goes and give you the same results that everyone else accomplishes. Our society is designated to make you swim with the current. Even if we are not good at it, we all think that there must be a pre-established role for your life. But if you are unwilling to swim against the current, you are bound to fail. So you need to have the courage to meet decisions that go against existing options and swim against the current if it is in your nature to do so. D. Lack of planning to achieve goal. If we don't have appropriate plans, we are less likely to succeed in life. It doesn't matter if things are not working out exactly as planned or our plan is imperfect. All that matters is that we have a plan. Remember, without a clear plan, you will be most likely to go left, right, forward and backward, but you will never come close to your goals. No goals is equal to no success. Sometimes spontaneity is a good thing. However, it is often good to do some planning before tackling a big task. E. Fear of failure. This thought itself often paralyzes us. The fear of failure makes us reluctant to seize rewarding prospects or opportunities we have. There is a quote by Robert F. Kennedy. Only those who dare to fail greatly can achieve greatly. We fear failure, that's why we don't even try. Please don't see failure as something that is designed to punish you. Instead, use the lessons you have learned from all your failure to pursue your dreams with even greater determination. F. Wanting too much too quickly. It's human tendency to seek instant results. The great number of people dream of accomplishing great things. They set incredibly challenging goals for themselves but are quickly intimidated once they realize how high the mountain is. Consequently, they quickly become discouraged because of fear of failed results. There is absolutely no problem with aiming high and dreaming big. In some cases, you might be setting yourself up for a long and hard fall by aiming too high. But in general case, it will encourage you to try hard and to strive 
for greatness. The real problem is targeting high without considering the dedication and effort which it takes each day to come anywhere close to your goals. In line with this thinking, this is a huge problem. If we shoot for the stars without thinking about developing a proper means of transportation that will get us there. G. Lack of belief in yourself or poor self-esteem. I can't believe it. That is why you fail. Most of the people seek reasons why things are not working for them. But successful people have the necessary determination to make things work for them. If you don't want to give up early, believe in yourself. In fact, your belief will fuel you to keep searching for the solution until you finally find one. Poor self-esteem is a lack of self-respect and self-worth. People with low self-confidence are constantly trying to find themselves rather than creating the person they want to be. It is therefore very important to realize how essential it is to believe in what you do. H. Excuse If you blame other people for your own mistakes and problems, you are destined to fail. And at the same time, we all are confronted with problems that derail us from our paths. It is only when we stop using these problems and challenges as excuses that we will make progress in life. Successful individuals don't allow excuses to stand between themselves and their goals. They understand that making excuses will lead them nowhere. That's why they resist the temptation of finding an excuse that will make them feel good. They always take ownership of their actions and start taking matters into their own hands. There is always a reason that justifies inaction. I. Unwillingness to network. You all miss a lot of opportunities if you don't invest time to build strong relationships with those who can help you. It is sad and unfortunate that many underestimate the power of networking. Our relationship or bonding can help us reach out to others and convince them to work with us, not against us. In fact, networking helps us to meet exactly those people whose interests align with our own. But in today's digital era, through social networking, people get connected in virtual world and exchange chats to show bonding. But when the testing time comes, they just disappear. If you don't have anything to offer them for their benefit. J. Being resistance to advice. Some people fail because they do not accept valuable advice or feedback. Instead, they seek for various reasons to argue why they believe what they are doing is correct. Even if their accomplishments are unsuccessful, they remain resistant to advice and justify their deeds. This kind of people prefers being right in their own subjective point of view rather than opening themselves up for feedback. The reason is quite simple. Listening to feedback and other people's advice resembles the acknowledgement of their own faults, which is a thing they try to avoid at any cost. In other words, we can say that they prefer to convince others that they are right instead of learning to do things right. One must remember that in situations when we are confronted difficulties and failure, it is important to be open for advice and feedback. Not every person may be good in the position to help us. But those who can give us advice should be listened to carefully. What they tell us might not be confronting, but if it is constructive feedback that helps us to gain important insights and to learn important lessons, it will be well worth it. K. They listen to too much advice. 
Listening too much advice can get confusing. Limit yourself to a handful of people who really know what they are talking about. Chances are that many people who try to dole out advice don't know much about the subject. You can find many so-called educated intellectuals who can give you lectures about sales, finance or any issue of business despite having zero practical or fake practical knowledge about the nitty-gritty of business. So only seek help from people who know exactly what you're doing. So only seek help from people who know exactly what you're going through and have required skill set to talk about the topic. L. Refusal to learn from past mistake. Unsuccessful people are deeply hurt by their mistakes and failure. Due to that, they do everything they can to quickly forget their painful experiences. The problem with this attitude is that doing so does not bury the important lessons and insights that come with these mistakes. Don't bury your mistakes. Analyze what you did wrong, be it anything. As for in business, be it staff selection or partner selection, see what you can learn from your experience. Find out the loophole of your previous strategy. Challenge yourself to develop better approaches that help you to avoid similar mistakes in the future. M. Inability to overcome distractions. If you are unable to resist the temptation of distracting yourself, then your workflow will suffer from it. If you have necessary mental strength to abstain from these distractions, you will be much more productive. Most common example for this in today's world is while using social sites, you must have experience that if you continuously switch back and forth from Facebook to Twitter, you will lose sight of what is really important. A person's skill to ignore distractions can be core factor for success. The way you deal with distractions can either make or break your success. M. Failure to take responsibility. This fatalistic attitude prevents people from accepting responsibility for their position in life. They attribute failure and success both to luck. They resign themselves to their fate regardless of their efforts. That whatever has to happen will happen anyway. It is fatal thing to give away your control. If you don't assume responsibility for what is going on in your lives, we are not in position to do anything about it. To solve the challenges, we must be in position of control. Otherwise, anything that happens to us happens by coincidence or accident, which means we cannot do anything to change that. Don't just simply give up when challenged with difficulties. It doesn't matter if you occasionally fall to the ground. What is important is that you keep trying until you find a way to accomplish your aims. As long as you always get back up on your feet, failure cannot defeat you. Why we fail in our careers? Reasons why we fail in our careers? No clear purpose. We failed because we don't have clear purpose, not only in life, but also in selecting a job or doing the job. To succeed, we need to be clear about our life purpose, job purpose, and even on weekly purpose. No constructive thinking. If we constantly seize upon negative and smother our new ideas, as well as those of people around us, then we won't get very far. We will probably damage our health and give in too easily when confronted by challenges. And we all know that these days jobs are very challenging and demanding. Low productivity. Too many people disorganized without the discipline to plan and create slabs of time to accomplish their tasks before them. And also unaware of benefits of focusing on a few activities that generate the greatest impact causes low productivity. Fixed mindset. This always closes the door of success. 
and we started believing that what we are thinking is right. We should be open to dynamic mindsets. Pathetic energy. You need a lot of energy to work long hours. Think clearly and remain active. That means keeping your energy robust with a variety of aids such as good sleep, healthy diet, routine exercise, ample sunlight, relaxing music and positive self-talk. Poor presentation skill. Great presenters get ahead because their smooth presentations make them look smarter than they may actually be. The packaging becomes the reality. Asking the wrong questions. The most important force sculpting your life is the quality of questions you ask yourself. What are my values? Should I even be involved in what I am presently doing? Another biggie, when facing a major decision, what could go wrong? Mistaking intelligence quotient for emotional quotient. Researchers proves that EQ is twice as likely as IQ to indicate success in life. So if you think that high IQ is the sole determinant of success, you are misguided. Poor self-image. You need a healthy self-image because it determines which actions you will take and how you will feel every day. Both will help you determine your success. Stress. Stress kills your dreams, your happiness, your performance and shortens your lifespan. Try some stress boosters from deep breathing to get out in the sunshine. Pen down lists that what you need to do and what your values are because those flush some of the uncertainty out of your life. Not enough thinking. The obsession with doing, doing, doing will ultimately do you in. Instead, you must think, think and think. Ideas are golden, but we are suffering from a shortage of thinking time. Few relationships. You need help to get where you want to be. Build friendships, including an inner circle of few professional and personal contacts who can give you needed support. No daily rituals. Build time into your day for important habits such as reading about your industry, fitness, improving your social life and visualizing your goals. Try this happiness ritual as well. Make a list of all good things in your life. Money mania. Building your life around accumulation of money will lead you to misery rather than happiness. Build your life on relationships, community and serving others. Anatomy of failure through human traits. People fail to do well due to various issues. But it all boils down to themselves being the culprit of their failure. The one thing that is certain is that they really do not understand success nor its process. Life always comes with its own ups and downs. Generally, there are downs. What we happen to overlook are the chances and opportunities we get to turn that around. What we always ignore in our day-to-day -day life. Miscommunication. Communication is one prime part of our life. Some people are excellent at putting their point across and others just don't make the cut. It is unfortunate for these individuals because sometimes communication is all you need to make things fall back at the right place. Seldom we don't value communication, but believe me, communication is a vital part of our lives. Sometimes because as the issues keep building up, it leads to major failure, but then it is too late. Make yourself approachable. Communication is a principal rule of life. Misunderstandings. This is the root of almost every problem there is in our life. Misunderstanding leave no room for hope. You have got to make sure that your life should be based on misunderstandings. Be all ears to people who want you to understand their point of view regardless of whether or not it is right. After listening to them, 
explain your point of view to them and find reasonable argument as to why you think you are correct only looking over and not giving the other person any importance is what leads to downfall in life this might not be so quick but in long run it will really get to you ego issues it is challenging yet true that ego comes in your way in almost every decision you make too much or too less everyone has an ego always wanting to prove yourself right and the other person wrong is not the end of the world and definitely not the answer to any problem having an ego is not a bad thing but using it in a right situation is where you're making a wise decision unnecessarily adding on to problems because of ego hassles will never get you anywhere again this is voluntary you choose to react to certain situations in certain ways please refrain from having too much of evil spirit restrain your ego and move forward in life because there is more to life than just this cheating this is the worst thing you could do to anyone cheating has its own repercussions and committing such a mistake would directly take you down the road why do people cheat this is because they lose respect or value for something or someone and are always looking for shortcuts in life this is where selfishness comes into the picture and people lose track of understanding anything the biggest mistake you could commit is cheating it takes all the good away from you back harkering everyone has a past and it does not essentially mean that it was condescending or useless in the majority of cases one's past is one's weakness the weaker ones always fall prey to their past experiences and go back there the alarming part is that such weak ones are large in number why can't forget our past and move on in life being a back harker is only going to ruin your future and not build it up you are responsible for your future and present but not your past learn from it don't try to unfasten it because you can't no planning you must be thinking why this is even on the list but this is vital please understand planning is an integral part of everyone's life before starting work everything should be planned simply being reckless and not giving attention to your life in a planned way will definitely make you hit rock bottom do remember don't just play with your cards without thinking and leave everything on luck you make your luck and you don't have to wait for anything to happen this is your life and what you want you have to make from it no trust if there is no trust then how will your family and relationships work usually we have this overconfidence that alone we can do everything because we understand what we can do this is a misconception being able to trust others and building up some team effort will help you a lot in life otherwise misunderstandings will lead to failure giving up we all face this emotion at least once in life and it is not only the weak but the strong ones also experience this many times situations get really hard it is tough to deal with them but the moment we think about giving up on them we will never be able to move on and take the fresh start in life why are we losing hope just like that there's so much more to everything around us why don't we look around and find happiness in the smallest of things opportunities are everywhere only if one knows how to find them we need to get out of our cocoon giving up is a very easy choice and it sure as hell doesn't get us anywhere it only sucks out all out of our best and attracts everything horrifying happening around misguidance
make sure you know whom you are working for or working under or in new situations who you think is your guardian in a lot of cases mainly at the workplace many people have a tendency to take the credit of your work however decent or bad you are having your own say will improve a lot of things and will also make relations at your workplace better this can be applicable to you too make sure you don't give incorrect guidance to someone it may ruin their future and can even affect your relations wasting time time is so powerful resource it's in your hands to make sure you know how to use it why is it that we significantly don't pay attention to it sometimes we focus on just one thing all the time and lose out on all other things that exist the solution is right in front of us and yet we tend to leave a simpler way and choose to take a harder way we should have time for family friends work and relationships but we keep wasting our time to fix something that will not have any solution instead make a place to breathe often the reason for our fall is because we ignore what other chances we have as we overlook them many of us make this mistake without realizing that we are missing out on lot of other happiness in life don't waste time don't do that to yourself it provides us the chance to live life the way we want to it's unfortunate that today's people have to take out time for all this unnecessary things become our priority let's sum up in simple words for making a dish we need the right blend of raw material but it's the unique combination of those ingredients and the correct application of heat that produces a taste and delight in term of success the raw ingredients don't change significantly successful people are able to take those raw ingredients of life that are readily available with any of us and through their own creativity transform their dreams into something tangible and real so does the recipe of successful living have similar constants winning recipe we will share with you those factors that all successful people share and it is up to you to tweak the recipe to create your very own winning recipe success is equal to ambition plus vision plus execution plus persistence plus luck plus timing plus traits plus a a is the most important ingredient for success even if you have all you cannot be successful without last one people say they think luck is important yes it is but without luck also you can become successful the last one is attitude without attitude your recipe of success is incomplete and you're bound to fail if you don't have a right attitude successful people are successful because they have an attitude of never say die end of part 3 get a goal to push you get a challenge to push you get a deadline to push you push yourself with self discipline get others to push you get competition to push you get ideas to push you get a tormentor get a tormentor to push you and a mentor to support you